people didn't know I was funny. You know, because when I started out, because I only did, like, I did streamers. I did, um, what, Soldier Story. So they thought I was just this young, black, dramatic actor. Nobody knew I was funny. And that year that we did the pilot for In Living Color, it was like I had auditioned for, like, 30 pilots, you know. And it was, I had become the guy who was like, David, it's for a young, white woman who's 20, or you. No, no. You know, they may go a different way. So yeah, I was that dude. Exactly. I was that dude. You know, maybe you'll break the, you know, break the spell. And nothing really clicked and none of the scripts were really good. And then there was In Living Color, which I knew I would have fun on because all my friends were on it. But my agents, everybody said, you can't do this. I mean, you know, look at what we're building. You know, we're building your career based on forgettable dramatic roles as upstanding Negroes. Why would you challenge that, David? We have a 20-year plan. You know, but uh, so I just, for nothing to lose, I finally, Kim Wayans is the one who really talked me into it because I said no two times, three times, and she said, no, you have to do this. Show, this is going to change your career. Trust me. And I did. I mean, I'd moved back to New York, and I finally said, okay, I'll do it. And she was absolutely right. I mean, there was, you all know what happened. I mean, that's the reason why most people know me. So it was, yeah, it was right. Listen to a black woman. She hooked me up. She hooked me up. 